Ahoy everyone, Captain Mass from here. In 1.6.5, Exotics returned and got buffed. Weapons got innate perk and one prismatic slot. Molten Edict got the biggest buff among all of the Exotics. Edict got innate Berserker perk, which giving the weapon perfect perk economy. Berserker sounds questionable on the hammer, but with the spin move you can stack it up really fast. But the biggest buff came from the Lava Ball buff. Every lava ball, or rather shell use, damage got increased by 50%. This means shot, evasive blast, hammer jump, rhyme hits, and the most important, Aether Slam. On Molten Edict, unlike on normal hammers, the Aether Slam explosion is different. On normal hammer, every shell gives one explosion, and this explosion ends really fast, but on Molten Edict, Every shell gives one second duration to the lava roller. This wall dealing damage every half seconds starting from the slam, so at zero seconds. With six shells, it deals damage 12 times in 5.5 seconds. With one shell, it deals damage three times in one second. Before we start with anything on Molten Edict, the biggest question is Extended Clip versus Anti Clip as mod. While on normal hammer, the answer is obviously the extended clip, on Molten Edict, we also have to calculate with the time and the distance. With extended clip, Edict deals 446 motion value maximum 12 times in 5.5 seconds, which is total 5352 base damage. This means Edict can deal this much damage just with the lava roller, if the beam doesn't move for 5.5 seconds, and that's a lot of time. But with anti clip, Edix deals 765 motion value 4 times in 1.5 seconds, which is total 3060 base damage. Now, that's a big damage difference, but keep in mind not every beamet, actually, barely any beamet is long enough to eat all of the 12 hits. The Drask dummy can eat about 11 of the hits, so that's only 446 damage loss, which isn't that bad. But this assumes the beam doesn't move out or get staggered or part broken out of the lava roller. This also assumes perfect positioning from head to tail and not sideways. If you slam the beam at sideways, it would deal damage to the beam at maximum 6 times, which would be 2676 base damage. 400 less than with Anticlip. To reach the same damage as Antic, which requires 1.5 second rolling time with extended, the ball has to hit at least 7 times, which takes 3.5 seconds for consistent damage and against small beamers like Shrike or Screeve, I might take Antic, but for maximum damage, extended works better. Priming the attacks also makes difference. With extended, each Aether ammo you use for priming, you lose almost 900 damage, but gain extra 262 damage. With Antic, the first ammo you use up for priming, you lose 765 damage. If you use up both of the ammos, you lose the whole 3060 damage for the 450 extra damage per shell. So priming with Edict is a damage loss in every case due to how the lava roller works. Quick tip, if you want to use Edict as a cannon, don't use Adrenaline or Berserker. It doesn't need that much attack speed either, so White Frenzy and Conduit also not that needed. So you can go for Crit, Rage Hunter and Overpower. Yes, of course, Overpower doesn't have that much uptime because with the lava balls you're not gonna stagger the beam, but it still can break parts and uh, you can shoot really fast with the cannon, and uh, those lava balls can get the overpowered damage. The last thing I'm gonna say before we jump into our gameplay is a bug which Edict has right now. This only affects the lava ball shots. With Aether Slam, the damage of the ball is calculated based on how many Aether charged and normal ammo in the chamber. So basically, the damage values of the shells got added together and divided by the number of shells resulting in the final damage. But with the shots, it works a bit differently. Instead of dealing damage based on the quality of the ammo used, 
it deals damage based on the highest ammo in the chamber. This means you deal Aether charged ammo damage with a normal ammo if you have at least one Aether ammo in the chamber. The difference is more noticeable with Anticlip, but it's really annoying to reload after every shot. Anyways, that's it about Matt. Let's jump in the gameplay. I don't care if I am fancy brighter 
Well, that's it for now. If you liked the video, please don't forget to help me out improving the YouTube algorithm by smashing the like button and leaving a comment below. Subscribe to see more uploads. How does the edit looks like? You can use it normally or spend the shots. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.